We chat to a disability advocate on the dangers caused to pedestrians by unsafe parking and a proposal to create awareness. So how does unsafe parking affect pedestrians? Cars and vans parking on and blocking footpaths puts pedestrians in danger by forcing them onto the road. This puts all pedestrians in danger, but in particular, this affects people with a disability, parents with buggies, and young children. Is it illegal to park on and block a footpath? Yes, it is illegal. There are three penalty points and an 80 euro fine for parking a vehicle in a dangerous position. Source Road Safety Authority website. Are there campaigns to highlight the dangers of unsafe parking? There are campaigns by disability organisations, but they are not ongoing. My experience is that one day events like the Disability Federation of Ireland, DFI Make Way Day and the NCBI Clear Paths campaign, which runs for one week in November, unfortunately are not effective. There would appear to be a lack of enforcement and indeed awareness. Are parking wardens and the Gardaí not issuing warnings or fines? Parking wardens and the Gardaí need to be proactive and nip things in the bud before accidents happen. While Gardaí don't like paperwork that goes with issuing fines and motorists don't like receiving fines or penalty points, I feel a quiet word by the Gardaí would work wonders. I understand the Gardaí have a campaign targeting people who should not be parking in spaces designated for people with a disability. The Gardaí have Operation Enable and Operation GURM. They allocate resources one day per quarter for enforcement and more often if resources are available. I understand it has been effective, but like everything, it needs to be more often so the public get the message and not just four times a year. I understand you have a low cost proposal that would create much needed awareness. My idea is to get insurance companies, the Motor Tax Office, RSA who look after the NCT and road safety and driving licensing issuing authority on board to print something on the flip side of the paperwork they send out or include a flyer highlighting the dangers of blocking paths and also pointing out that penalty points and fines apply. Although motor tax, insurance renewals and the NCT are largely online, correspondence is still sent out by post. For example, renewal reminder and of course the physical tax, insurance and NCT discs.